Welcome to Atrix eFile. Thank you for taking a few minutes to see just how simple it is to set up your account to begin eFiling with the Atrix eFile solution. The first thing you'll do is go to eFile.atrix.com and click on Enroll. You'll be presented with a form. Simply complete this form. First, by selecting a username and password, you will use this to file all of your reports, regardless of which report you are filing or what agency you are filing it to. One login does it all. You'll need to identify what type of filer you are, whether you're doing your own filings, or whether you are a third-party tax preparer that is preparing tax reports for other companies. We'd like you to select the accounting package you're using, We'll need to know your contact information. This should be the individual who's doing the actual filings so that if we have a question, we can contact you directly. We'll need a name, an email address, and an office phone number. We would also like to have a cell number, and you can select to have uh, SMS text alerts sent from Atrix. This will be information about confirmations, due dates, or anything that is pertinent to your filing. Company information will include an EIN, the company name, address, and the number of employees that you currently have. Once you've completed this, click Save Changes, and you will be sent to the efile.atrix.com site. The first page you'll see is actually the welcome page. This page will contain any pertinent new information, for example, in this case, that all California employers are now required to file electronically. Uh, these are the types of things that may affect you and will be listed here when you first log in. When you click on the Companies tab, this is where your information will be. As you can see, this is the information that you filled out about the company, about uh, the contact information. You have the option of adding your bank account information. The bank account information will allow you to store uh, the account that you want payments made from. This will mean that you do not have to enter this information every time you file. It certainly is up to you. This information is protected behind firewalls and it's only revealed to you when you are logged in and filing a form. You'll need to identify what states you're filing. In this case, I've selected California, Colorado, and Minnesota. Should you decide that you want to add a company, you would simply click Add New, and you can add as many companies as you wish. <clears throat> That's how easy it is to get your account set up. In order to take the steps that are necessary to begin filing, please view our next video.